You are looking at live video from the International Space Station where Russian Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Misurkin, along with spaceflight participants and private citizens Yusaku Mezewa and Yozo Hirano, are prepping to wrap up 11 days at the space station and return home aboard their Soyuz MS-20 spacecraft. Good afternoon and happy holidays and welcome to Mission Control Houston where the team is preparing now for the Soyuz undocking from the International Space Station. That's coming up at 5.50 p.m. Central but the departing crew members have actually already said their farewells and well ahead of schedule have already closed the hatches between the two vehicles. That was scheduled to take place just after 2.30 p.m. Central Time but instead took place with little fanfare around 1.20 p.m. Central. We'll have some video of that to replay for you in just a moment. But first, we thought we would recap the journey so far for you. The S-20 Soyuz crew arrived at the space station on December 8th. After launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 1.38 a.m. Central Time, that set off Mazurkin's third trip to space and the first for the space flight participants, Mazawa and Hirano. That picture-perfect launch, the crew arrived at the International Space Station about six hours later and got to work on their 11-day stay. Now, here in the International Space Station flight control room, the team of the Orbit 2 shift is still on console and will finish up and hand over to the Orbit 3 shift right around undocking time tonight. For now, the team is led tonight by Flight Director Paul Konya. And in Kazakhstan, a number of officials and vehicles are standing by in preparation for the landing. Misurkin, Mazawa, and Hirano expect touchdown southeast of Jezkazgan in Kazakhstan at 9.55 p.m. Central, uh, or excuse me, 9.13 p.m. Central, or 9.13 a.m. local time. Several of the 12 MI-8 helicopters have already been deployed to various areas to await landing. Eight are at the expected landing site already, and two more will be ready about 250 miles away in the area where touchdown would occur if a ballistic entry occurred. The final two helicopters will loiter midway between the two sites. We're, of course, not expecting a ballistic entry, but as always, are prepared for one. Again, here on the ground, everyone is getting into place for that upcoming 9.13 p.m. Central Time landing. And as we said, on orbit, the crew has actually already gotten into their vehicles and closed hatches between themselves and the rest of the space station. That took place uh, just around 1.20 p.m. Central Time. And we have some video uh, briefly to play for you of that now. That again was a recorded video of the crew getting into place in their Soyuz MS-20 earlier this afternoon. That took place just uh, a little more than an hour ahead of time at around 1.20 p.m. Central Time. I think we saw their uh, Yusaku Mizewa um, getting in first, followed by uh, his uh, space flight participant crewmate, Yozo Hirano. And of course, uh, we did also see the Soyuz commander there, Alexander Misurkin, waving goodbye along with his crewmates before the hatch was closed by the uh, Expedition 66 commander, Anton Shkaplerov.
Misurkin, Mizawa, and Hirano will be leaving behind their crewmates of the past 11 days. Expedition 66 Commander Anton Shkaplerov and Flight Engineer Pyotr Dubrov, both of Roscosmos. NASA astronauts Mark Vandehei, Raja Shari, Tom Marshburn and Caleb Barron, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer. They are all preparing for the space station version of the holidays and hoping for a pre-Christmas delivery aboard the SpaceX 24 Cargo Dragon that's scheduled to launch on Tuesday and arrive on Wednesday. Assuming everything goes according to schedule tonight, Mazurkin will have spent a total of 346 days in space over the course of his three trips to space. The spaceflight participants flying alongside him are both on their first trips to space and so should end their journey with a little less than 12 full days in space. Since the schedule uh, for today was a bit um, out of order and not what we were expecting, we're going to show that um, hatch closure video for you one more time before we wrap up our show for the day. This again is uh, the two space flight participants um, closing hatches along with the Soyuz commander, Alexander Misurkin. That there, Yozo Hirano saying goodbye to Anton Shkaplerov, the Expedition 66 commander. And all three crew members there waving goodbye to their uh, short term crewmates. Final thumbs up there from uh, Shkaplerov. That again took place well ahead of schedule around uh, just after 1.20 p.m. Central Time. And since we do have those hatches closed, uh, we will be taking a break now while the leak checks are performed until closer to the time for the Soyuz undocking from the space station's Poisk module. That's scheduled for 5.50 p.m. Central Time, and I would not expect that to happen nearly as uh, ahead of schedule as the hatch closure did. That time is a little bit more set. I think it's pretty dependable. So we'll be back for undocking coverage around at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. After the Soyuz performed a couple of systems tests and fired its thrusters to move away from the station and out of view, we'll take another break and then come back at 8 p.m. Central for the 4 minute and 39 second deorbit burn at 8.18 p.m. Central. And from that point, we'll stay on until the crew has landed and is out of the vehicle. Landing is scheduled for 9.13 p.m. And this is Mission Control Houston.